Hey everyone, I'm Doug Zeta Rose for <laughs> Game Shampoo. Welcome to the first of yeah Alice Madness Returns. So time to start a new game and as you can see, this is technically my second time playing the game, but it's been about nine years since I played it last, so it's easy to look back at it uh, with fresh eyes. Also, it should state I am playing the game on Nightmare Difficulty. It's not really going to show up much, but hey, it's there, it's worth mentioning, because it's very much a thing. <laughs> So, oh, like I just said, I haven't played this game in nine years, so it's, well, new game plus. I remember the basics of what's going to happen. I don't remember the specifics. Well, they're the odd specific, but that's how it is. That's how it will be. I'll try to avoid spoilers every which way. Right now, let's enjoy the opening. Where we get little looks into what this Wonderland was. We get to see Wonderland before the events, at least a little, of American McGee's Alice Madness Returns. Right now, now we're very much seeing what's going on with Alice during a therapy session. Uh, she is now the patient of Dr. Bumby, who specializes in making people forget. Now, I'd say it's very much with uh, hypnosis, and there are a lot of ways to do that. It's really not just the watch swinging. It's a variety of techniques. That's way, way outside my purview. I've never looked into hypnosis or done any research about hypnosis. Just ingesting a little I gesticulate a lot. There's a reason why ASL is my second language. You know, it's easier for me to learn. And I know that was bad. No mouth coverage. Well, always a little speaking. But, uh, yeah. <sighs> Try not to cover the mouth. Because that's incidental to things. All right. So focusing back on, as you can see, the therapy sessions take a turn for the worse, and the new Alice. Well, the new Wonderland is emerging for Alice, and who she was is being stripped away in the tiniest of senses. A new world is forming. Ah, here we are, Dr. Bumby. Specializes in uh, forgetting. Uh, the price of forgetting is high. We're gonna hear that a lot. Hope you like that line. And yeah, who would choose to be alone, imprisoned by their memories? Well, we're all, we all have our memories. The brain's very good at filtering stuff out. But again, I'm no psychologist. I'm no psychiatrist. I'm a writer. You brush toward jack of all trades sort of things, but. Unless I get a doctor in front of my name or a PhD following my name, I can't truly speak to anything like this. Also, as you can see, I have changed my drinking mug. I feel appropriately tired. Ah, <sighs> well, T Villain had this shirt on sale, and I do very much have a passion for Alice. Ew. Here is a nice example of what uh, Dr. Bumby is helping that child forget, given his more jovial appearance and say he's doing okay. Uh, Alice talking about how she's been interacting with the children, telling them stories uh, about things. On that note, uh, Susie Barn uh, is the voice actress who's portraying Alice Lid Liddell here. Actually, kind of curious. Has she done other stuff, or is she 
Oh, okay, so she was Alice in the original game as well. That's good to know. Oh, that's right. Uh, pay attention. You'll notice a lot of the children have these numbers on them. I remember that it's significant. I don't remember what about. Like I said, it's been nine years. It's hard to remember a lot of things. No, yeah, nothing else to really talk about. So, close up IMDb, I don't need it. Alright, so I've been taking the time to explore Alice's little world of London. I will say that throughout this game, I'm going to be coming back to London. And, and then there are times I'm going to be, well, most of the time spent in Wonderland. Now. While I'm in London, I'm largely going to be doing things in this format, pre-recorded, where I will be a bit more meta about the game, talk about what's happening, what has happened. I'm not going to talk about what is going to happen. One, I'm not going to remember it accurately. Two, spoilers. And that's something we all want to avoid. No spoilers. I'm looking at you comments. Yeah, down below. No spoilers. This game's nine years old, and I'm just going back to it for the first time since I wrote a guide on it. Uh, I'm trying to remember. Oh. <laughs> okay, yeah, that, that was a long time ago. Nine years was at the start of this career, not uh, with the present setup. Like I said, uh, these children are wearing numbers for a reason. I know that. I don't remember what it is, but I know that they're wearing the numbers for a reason. And if I do remember, I'm not saying until it gets revealed. Uh, I know it's toward the end. That's it. My memory doesn't work like other people's memories. But hey, no one's memory works like that. So... Oh, this is a fun bit. Listen. Wait. Now listen again. This is one of those things I get to do because I pre-recorded it. This game is based on Unreal Engine. Yeah, the Unreal Engine, which has widely been used for development. And, you know, it's a great way to save yourself a lot of trouble. You know, license an engine. Unfortunately, that does come with some cost. Well, sometimes it's cheaper to develop in-house, sometimes it isn't. I don't know. I just know what I have heard and read about. <sighs> and, yeah. You'd think some of the quirks wouldn't be there. Even this is an Xbox 360 game. I have the game installed on the hard drive. I do that to actually downgrade the load times. <laughs> Saves you a couple of seconds. When you're playing a full game, a couple of seconds here and there adds up. Oh, this part's also a bit fun. Traditionally, it's a white rabbit that is leading Alice down the proverbial rabbit hole. In this game, it's a white cat. Makes sense, given, um, yeah, Cheshire. This boy, right here. I'd hold up my mug, but that simply says mad as a hatter. Uh, nah, I'm not going to comment on that. Though I will remark that was a horse skull. Also, earlier you had the frack. Or frark. One of those. This is a mature rated game. For, <laughs> the intro alone makes that obvious. You know, you saw Alice's face with her flesh getting stripped away. Hey, you saw Rabbit with his eye literally pop out, blood ooze out the sides of his mouth, and basically fountain from his body. Real delightful stuff. Also, yes, Alice following furry creatures down dark holes is a potential vice. Nothing horrid, but nothing bad either. Oh, nothing great. Eh, possibly good. All depends on perspective. Ah, yes. <laughs> ah. 
first rushes of psychosis. Oh, he's psychosis. Or at least the manifestation of a uh, thing going on there. We all know Alice isn't... She has stuff going on upstairs. Ah, Nurse Witless. About to be introduced. I'm just like a step ahead. Alice, by virtue of... I recorded this. Huh, I'm gonna have to figure out where to put things. Actually, I might want to... Yeah, that's neither here nor there. That's for editor me, who is yet farther in the future. Not much farther in the future from now. It's weird. Don't don't question the ways of <laughs> editor me talking to you. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm not going into that time travel. I'll try to get all the tenses proper. It's just easier to focus on uh, what is going on. <laughs> uh, also, I like this bit because we get to see a little bit inside the mindset of Nurse Witless. Why she's done what she's done. Also, her attitude uh, toward people. And uh, just what she's looking for from Alice. You know, poor girl. Yeah, it has been 10 years since the first game, or the 10 game, or the first game took place across the 10 years. Uh, there is no real indication of the time lapsed in the game, if I'm honest. Oh, oh man, it's been longer since I played that game through. I might want to watch a speed run. No, watching the speed runs of a game is a horrid idea if you want to remember the story. If you want to remember the story, you watch a Let's Play. At least I, and I sincerely hope that's what people are doing here. Especially given, you know, you all voted for this game. And, you know, like I said, it has been nine years since I played this game. I initially played it and wrote a guide for it when it came out. Uh, there aren't that many places which did that. So, we're unique. Always good. Oh. <laughs> Ah yes, London during the Industrial Revolution. Really? Not a pretty place. Okay. Oh, oh. <laughs> Just notice where we are in all these things. So, I gotta start wrapping it up. There's about a minute or so left. Witless is going to change, and Alice is going to begin her descent into Wonderland. It was only a question of when. So, I have been Doug Saturn Rose for Game Shampoo. Please like, comment, subscribe to keep up to date with this Let's Play, Assassin's Creed, and all that wonderful Skyrim content. There's plenty more. So, hey, toss a coin to your gamer, and I'll see you next time.